Congratulations. A very hard fought win there. What are your emotions after that? I'm just pleased to get through it, to be fair. Um, made it a lot harder than it should have been. Um, but that's my opinion on it. Um, other people watching it may think something else, but it, 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 I think I should have. Yeah, it should have been full full sets. But there you go. Um, it's nice to, to get over the line. Yeah. You came close to getting a three 0 win, but when it gets back to two all mentally how do you regroup for the final set? Um, you gotta forget what's gone and, and, and just try and strive forward, you know. Um, I was I was a bit gutted the one three one didn't go. Um, but then my start, uh, I think it had been over in four sets. So we could have won it in three, we could have won it in four, but we won it in five, so that's good enough. Reflecting on your own year as a whole, it's, it's been fairly difficult, so what's your mentality coming here? My whole year has been absolute crap, to be honest with you. Um, I've been trying my backside off and getting nowhere. i um, not been playing well, um, and that was all from um, a lot of early games here. First in the afternoon, first in the afternoon, first in the afternoon. It just, it kills you. It, it absolutely knackers you. Um, and hence the reason I didn't play at all, really, against James Wade last year. Um, and he, he's like, oh, we've done a number on him. Well, you're going to if you feel like I've done. It, you know, it's not hard. Um, and that carried on the whole year. So normally I have two or three months of, of playing bad and it comes back. But it was just bad all year, to be fair. Hence the reason I missed a match play. Hence the reason I missed a Grand Prix. Um, but hopefully now these will, will start coming good and, and turning things around. You enjoyed a run to the quarter-final last year. Do you feel mm. you can put, put the year right here with another similar... Not the way I'm playing at the moment, but um, if, if I can... Looking back on how I played throughout the year, today was an answer better than that. And if I can up it again, then there's no reason why I can't go a lot further in this tournament. And if it keeps getting better every time I play, there's no reason why I can't win it. Absolutely. Well um, it's, hey, don't say I'm going to win it. It's all a lot of ifs and buts and, and you know, so... Um, I'm just pleased to get through one round at the moment and we'll see what happens Thank after you. Christmas. Thank you. Cheers. Merv, congratulations on Thank the you. win. Just touching on what you said there, obviously the disappointing year that you've had, does it still give you the excitement that you qualified for here and put that right, put the disappointments behind you? Um, I was never going to not be here because that was, it's on two years, so um, I, was, I was never going to uh, lose enough off my rankings to not be here. Um, the fact that I remained in the top 32 as a bonus, um, which helped me. Uh, I, I put a lot more hours in over the last month on the board, uh, and it's now starting, I think, to show. So maybe, you know, maybe, who knows? How do you put the disappointment behind you? You've seen many things in your career, but has this been one of the lowest points then? Like you say, the motivation there and everything um, like that? you just got to forget it. Um, <laughs> if you keep thinking about it, it's just going to drag you down. I mean, geez, I've, I've had so many major final appearances and, and lost so many, and they're all saying, oh, it's another one you lost. Yeah, it is. But you all seem to worry about it more than I do. You know, um, there's 30 other people that would take my place, but they can't because they're out. So, you know... Um, there's, there's a lot of people that um, give me uh, strife for not winning majors and losing in the finals again. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, if your name's on the pot, you'll win. Simple as. Must please you though the reception you've got here, singing singing your name. You've become the darling of Ali Pali over the last couple of years. They've really taken to you. Um, yeah, it's. Um, I, I think with um, the way I I sort of. Uh, approach the game now. It's not, it's not the be all and end all now. Um, with the the really stern face and and stuff, it's to me it's it's a game of darts. And if I win, happy days. If I don't, well, there you go. We'll never go next time. 
um, and, and that seems to have, um, I don't know, I don't know whether that's made them like me more or what, I, don't, I really don't know, but it's, uh, it's, I think maybe it's the way I approach the game. Very You're very welcome, mate. Cheers, thank you. Um, Lord, you mentioned about missing things like the match play and the World Grand Prix. You know, you've got records of being there mm. years consecutively. Was it frustrating? Not being at those it games? hurts. You know, if you if you miss a major, it hurts. Um, I I consider myself one of the I wouldn't say top players in the world, even though I, I can be when they turn up. Um, I still think I'm good enough to be in every major that's played throughout the year. Uh, I've just had an exceptionally bad year this year and, and those things happen. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed and head down, we're, we're going to attack things next year and hopefully we'll be back in them all. Can you see the line in your tunnel in terms of returning to your previous form? I don't know about the light at the end of the tunnel, but I, I feel as though the the, the throw and um, uh, the game is, is starting to be a little bit better than it has been throughout the year. So if it keeps improving, then there's no reason why I can't be in all the majors. Cheers, man. You're welcome. Cheers.